So welcome to this beautiful cabin. It's a first class cabin in this uh, Trans-Siberian train. It is very big, we have lots of space, beautiful, and we'll show you a few things about this place. First of all, this uh, door, which you can lock. Uh, it's a bit hard to open, you gotta pull very hard. <laughs> and pull back <laughs> if you want some purpose. <laughs> Here you have a mirror. Here we have a little closet. It's very tiny, but uh, big enough so that you can put some jacket shoes down there. Here we have the shower, so we turn on the lights here. You share the shower with a second room, so it's the same thing as the other side. And the actual shower, this is the shower. We actually haven't tried it yet because it looked a bit sketchy and the water comes out a bit Ugh. It's just cold and this whole room is somehow the shower. Just goes to drain right onto the trains. And it smells a bit. Also, there's two mirrors one there, one there. And some kind of window that's not really clear what it's for. And it's not drinking water. No, no. Then we have one place to sit here a table and a bench to sit there. So, this is the place where most of the time. We would sit, work on the computer, or read, or write, or just watch the beautiful landscape. What's above my head is a, a little hanger to hang clothes and a little rack, and we put all our food up there, so it's easy access. Every time the train stops in the station, you can get up, usually around 20 minutes, and you can buy some food. And uh, it's mostly already packaged stuff, so you can buy some soups, or breads, or chips. So that's basically what we've been eating. Then there's also a ventilator, which is right up there. Because sometimes it gets really hot. Okay, now we have the beds. Coming on the other side, this during the day, this is a bench. During the night, this transforms into a bed. So there's two beds, one down and one up. And you take it down by a little thing right here. Comes two beds. We get uh, sheets, so we both have a blanket, a normal one and a hotter one, and a pillow, so we can just take the blankets, put them on the two beds, and that's where we sleep at night. The blankets are often for us. We didn't bring, we didn't have to bring anything. There's storage room for two people. So the person who sleeps on top, they have the storage room is up here. So it goes kind of deep, like up to here. That's my arm, like a arm length. And this is where I put my backpack and I open it and I have all my storage up here. And to go down, you can either just go down the acrobatic way or there's also a ladder. Storage room for the person below is under the bed. It's the same thing, you lift the bed and then there's one big box and space. During the day, we just put this bed up and we usually just spend our day here at the table, looking outside the window and enjoying our time off. This is our first class cabin. Also, one little thing in first class, usually we have electricity, which is included right here. So you would have a common uh, European plug. Unfortunately, on this train, we had the bad luck to have no electricity for some technical reasons, but usually you would have. If one plug is not enough, you would have more just outside. So on every wagon there is a toilet. Welcome to the toilet of the train. So this is the toilet of uh, the first class. First thing when you get to this toilet, it smells really bad. Don't expect any good smells or comfort, it's really basic. There is one hot water tank where you can get hot water to make soups or to make teas. So there's a boiler of hot water, which is always hot, and they also refill it. So basically you come with your mug or your bowl or whatever, you just scoop it in here. As much hot water, tea or soups as you want. Perfect. The train is heated 
with coal. So in every station they get new coal and they actually heat it with coal like in the old days. So this is the coal oven. That's, that's how the old wagon is heated. So it's an actual fire that's burning and you can smell it. It smells really nice. And uh, there's one person in charge of every wagon to make this fire to keep it uh, going. And uh, put more coal when it goes up. One last thing, you might wonder if it's possible to open these windows. Well, actually, in the cabin, no. So if you want some fresh air, it's good that you know you can have some. You just need to go here. And every cabin would have a window right in front that you can open. There is no electricity.